Okay, today we're going to work on actually filler rod holders for the table. Now I'm dizzy. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we've been working back on an accessory for the welding table. I've got a whole bunch of this filler rod with no place to put it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some one inch PVC pipe, a whole bunch of these plastic PVC fittings, and we're actually going to make a holder to hold all of my filler rod. I've got aluminum, stainless, steel, and a different type of aluminum. So a couple different aluminums, stainless, and steel. So we're going to make a filler rod holder that holds four different types of filler rods out of PVC pipe right now. Let's do it. So I've got a bunch of these one inch T fittings, a couple caps, and a couple 90 degree fittings. I'm going to lay them all out onto the actual welding table. I'm going to show you the design I'm going for for the holder. We're going to PVC glue it all together, and then we'll have to figure out a way to attach it to the actual bottom of the welding table. I'm thinking that's where I'm going to put it. So this is the layout we're going for right now. This is the actual filler rod. It's going to go inside the tube. These are going to be the caps. The filler rod is going to come down in here. It's going to sit right about here. So this I'm going to slide this way, a whole bunch. The caps are going to be right around this location. This is actually going to be down here, right around here, this location. It's going to look something like that. And we're going to have the one inch PVC pipe connecting these. Then my filler rod will actually just slide down each one of these tubes and it'll be all separated nice and even. I'll label them with a label maker. So we're going to get these two pieces all connected together. So I need to figure out how much space do we need inside here to actually have these connected together. So I've got some one inch PVC pipe here we're going to use to do that way. Slid the PVC pipe in here. I'm just going to mark find how far they're going in. So I'm just going to have a whole bunch of really short pieces of PVC pipe because they only go in about a half an inch. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight one inch pieces of PVC pipe. So I'm going to lay it all out on here now. We're going to use the, the cutters here and we're going to cut the PVC pipe. So I'm going to mark this pipe right now with a whole bunch of one inch markings. Make it nice and easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's all the pieces we should need for this. They're all nicely marked on here now. And this PVC cutter should cut it really quickly and easily. going to slide in here like this. And this is going to slide in here like that. Just really simple. Just needs to make the connection. I'm going to finish cutting this. We'll get that out and we'll glue them all together. First going to glue all these together using the one inch PVC pipe here. Got some PVC cement. I don't need a lot. This is not going to be high stress at all. We got this all done. This is the bottom piece now. Now we're going to work on this section up here. PVC pipe in between the back side here, which will go right about there, and where we want this down here. Be right around here. This is the size of the filler rod, right there. So if we figure it sticks into here, I'm going to make a little PVC caps out here that'll unpop off. Just caps to keep the dirt from going down inside. Just like that. So take the tape measure. Doesn't have to be perfect. Looking at about 28 and a half inches, maybe. Let me get the longer piece. Cut four pieces out of that. Actually, two are going to be 28 inches, and then the two are going to be even shorter for the inside pieces. We're just going to test fit things together right now. 
like that. Now I need to measure the two interior pieces. Nice and flat. Then, the filler rod will just slide nice and neatly down inside the pipe here. Then I just need to make little caps that go on here and pull those off to cover them up. So let's get this all glued together. Then we'll worry about the end caps at the end. Start gluing these into here now. So that should all be glued together now. Now we need to put glue in each one of these and push it together. So I gotta work quickly here. Just gonna put glue in each one of these and push the end cap on. So we'll see how this goes. So there's that all glued together now. Now we just need to worry about the caps. So we're going to feed this in here. All the filler rods are the same length. That's what the caps are going to look like. And then these will just fit nice and smoothly over that, just like that. And then these will pull off. I'll label here what each pipe is. Just like that. I'm going to make three more of those. that up. So we're going to put the caps on these now. I'm going to line up the lines. The these don't need to be perfectly glued on again. It's my stainless rod here. The aluminum. This copper looking one is actually steel, regular steel. I'm going to actually pull these end pieces, a uh, little saran wrap, hold them together. Get those off of there. Now I've got all my, my rods here. Just going to feed them in. Just like that. Put the cap on. All nicely loaded up with everything I have. I'm gonna get the label maker now and put labels on all these so I know exactly what's in each one. Perfect. So I've got steel. Just gonna label that right on there like that. Be stainless. No, not a label. I'm thinking I might actually mount this to the actual welding part. So I'm gonna go take a look at that and see how that's gonna look if I actually mount this to the cart right now. Instead of to the table, this is kind of big for the table. I don't want it to be in my way. So I think I'm going to mount this on the edge of the welding cart using zip ties. I'll drill a couple little holes 
in the shelf and just zip tie the PVC pipes right to the side of this. I think it will come out pretty good. I think that something like this. Just zip tying it right along the bottom there, just like that, and then zip tying it up along here, right in place. That should come out pretty good. Relatively level. And I have to go. Tightening these up a little bit. Those are pretty tight. Snug up the bottom ones. Cut off the excess. All right, everyone, check this out. This came out absolutely perfect, better than I expected it would. I was originally planning on mounting this on the actual welding table, but it just fits so much better right on the welding cart with everything else. You've got all the pipes neatly labeled. Steel, stainless steel, aluminum, this is 4043. This will be a different type of an aluminum over here. If I need to actually get to any of the filler rods inside here, you just grab the cap right here, give it a little twist, boom. All the filler rods right there. Easily just put the cap right back on, keep everything nice and clean inside. All four of those caps removed just like that. They're zip tied right to the actual cart. Alright everyone, that's going to be wrap for this video. As you can see, we got the TIG filler rod holder completely constructed out of one inch PVC and a whole bunch of little fittings I picked up from Lowe's. It fits perfectly on the welding cart and hopefully now this gives you a little something to work on if you do need a holder for your TIG filler rods. So as always, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up if it was helpful to you and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.